Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be talking about the top five terminal apps that I use every day. So these are just five really cool apps that I've just decided to work into my workflow and I thought I would share them. So let's go ahead and jump right in. But first, first of all, hit the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed. We just hit 2000 subscribers and I'm like super excited about that. So thanks everybody who has subscribed. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And we're also on Odyssey. So you can check on out Odyssey and library and all that stuff. The links will be in the show notes below if you'd rather not deal with YouTube's nonsense. So let's go ahead and jump right into the topic for the day, shall we? Okay, so the first one that I want to talk about is NC Spot. So NC Spot is a terminal Spotify client. And really, that's exactly all it is. And that's all you really should have to say about it. So if you use Spotify Premium, you can use this in your terminal and you can play all the songs that you've saved to your library or playlists the only thing it doesn't really do as far as I know is stations so it'll actually it'll show you similar tracks and stuff but it won't show you like a, a radio station so but it, it will go through and it will show you all of your playlists and it'll show you your podcast that you've subscribed to I believe it will actually show you the most recent podcast in there yeah, I'll show you all the most recent podcasts, actually. So that's kind of really cool. I don't actually use this for podcasts, but you could use it for podcasts if you're subscribed to all your podcasts on Spotify. Speaking of which, the Linux cast is on Spotify. So if you want to subscribe there, you definitely can. So it also has, like, if you wanted to add stuff to your library, you can search by hitting F2. So you can do F2 and then you can search for, I don't know. And it will show you everything you, you need to know about Breaking Benjamin. All their tracks, albums, artists, stuff. And you just press O in order to get into the artists. And just go like that. And then backspace to get to where you were before. What I like about it is that it's fast. It doesn't take up a lot of resources like the Spotify client does. Because it doesn't deal with Electron and all that kind of container bull bullcrap. So NC Spot is the first one that I wanted to show you. The next one is Ranger. Now, Ranger is a terminal file application, file manager, and I use this pretty much every day, so much so that I have it bound to a key binding that will actually open up in a scratch pad. So, if you don't know what a scratch pad is, I have a video that I did on scratch pad, which I'll link in the cards above. But basically, Ranger just allows you to browse your files. Now, in theory, you can go through and have, like, um, it does have image previews by default, so you can turn those on and it will work. That's Ranger. The only thing, I really wish there was like drab, drag and drop capabilities in this. Now there is like supposedly like a plugin or something that you can go through and put in there and it will actually allow you to drag stuff out of Ranger and put it into like Firefox or something, but I've never been able to get it to work. I still have to have a visual file manager on hand in order to do all that kind of stuff, and unfortunately that means that I always have Nemo open up opened up so sometimes I just use that but when I just need to find a file or I need to edit like a text a text file or something like to go up to a documents I'm sure I have something here like a I have a, a a couple scripts that I could just go through and you know and just open it up just like that that's what Ranger is good for for me so that is Ranger the next one I wanted to talk about was Neomut now Neomutt is an email client, and I have two email accounts attached to it. And basically, it just allows you to access your email through the terminal. And there's a lot of stuff you can do with it. You can send uh, encrypted emails and stuff like that with different plugins that you can add. I'd also have a video on how to set this up with Gmail if you want to check that out. And this is my email client. Now, with all the HTML stuff that comes through it's not the greatest so I do have links installed so it will actually show me some of the HTML content but it's still not pretty so if you're mostly get HTML stuff into your e email inbox this may not be the best for you but if you're looking for something that's not so heavy like Thunderbird Neoma is a good option now the next one I want to talk about is bpytop if I can spell yeah 
And this is BPyTop. This is a, th a system resource monitor. It's awesome. It's pretty. It has a, di a whole bunch of different modes so that you can make, you can kind of change what it, you know, how it looks like. It has different themes so you can do, uh, different themes. You can do, uh, Dracula, Adapta, Grayscale, Solarized Dark, Whiteout, uh, Matcha, uh, Monokai, uh, Flat re Remix Light, and a, just a whole bunch of other ones. And it's just, really cool i mean it shows you your system temperatures which mine's running pretty hot right now because i have audacity and obs running in the background i almost always had this on a you know either a scratch pad or on a on a tag somewhere so that i can just kind of keep an eye on my system monitor or on my system status and stuff rather so that is bpytop so that was four the fifth one is an app called pulse mixer now, if you know anything about my Linux story, you'll know that I have problems with Linux audio all the time. And just today, I had another situation where I plugged in a new camera, and for whatever reasons, reason, Linux has decided to make that camera the default audio input source. And I had to change that. So, And I changed that using Pulse Mixer. So basically, it allows you to see your inputs. Or here's your outputs, inputs, and the cards you have attached to your computer. And then you can scroll through them. You can change the volume you, by hitting enter. You can go through and hit. You can set new things as default, change what's being used by the system by default. That's Pulse Mixer. Very simple. I should probably not close that so fast, but I use this all the time because I have my DAC hooked up all the time, my headphones hooked into the DAC all the time but sometimes I don't want to listen to my headphones I actually want to listen through the speakers that are up there my, you know on my shelf so I have to go through and change the source I can't just unplug my deck that'd be a pain in the ass every time I have to do that so it's just easier to you know hit super O and have my pulse mixer show up and then I can go through and change you know the output or the input or whatever so just to re recap real quick I went through and I showed you NC Spot, I showed you Ranger, I showed you Neomut, I showed you BPytop, and I showed you Pulse Mixer. I think that's five. Neomut, Neos, NC Spot, Ranger, BPytop, Pulse Mixer. Yep, that's five. So that was just a real quick video. Those are five of my favorite terminal applications. I tend to always try to find a terminal alternative to whatever I'm doing if I can. So, especially things that are going to be kind of something that I use all the time. So, if it's like email or if it's music or whatever, I want to use that in the terminal if I can, just because I like terminal applications. It's not necessarily because they're always better, because they're not always better. There's usually, there's situations where you want, a obviously, a graphical file manager or you want a graphical, term, uh, graphical email client. So, I mean... There are situations where the terminal stuff isn't the greatest, but for me, it just, I like having that stuff and I like the ability to put them on scratch pads or close them or bind them to keys or run them in scripts or whatever. And it's just, for me, that's the way it works. So in the comments below, if you have a terminal application that you particularly enjoy or two or three, shout them out. I'd love to, I'm always loving to try new stuff. So, uh, and I really highly enjoy our conversations down there. So uh, thanks, everybody, for participating in the in the community that seems to be growing pretty good. Thanks, DT. <laughs> Make sure you subscribe to us on Twitter at the LinuxCast, at the LinuxCast on Facebook. And you can support us on Patreon at patreon.com slash LinuxCast. I would like to also thank our current patrons, Devon, Marcus, Merrick, Camp 514. Thanks for your support. Thanks, everybody, for watching. I'll see you next time.